Okay, take two on elasticity. This time we're going to do the midpoint method. This is pretty much from question 3.6 onwards. All right, the midpoint method says the percentage change in X over the percentage change in Y will give you the price elasticity of demand. But now the midpoint method says you take the new price minus the old price on both prices plus together divided by 2. Okay, so this formula changes. Okay, that's for example, okay, that's for example the change in x would be that and then the change in y is exactly the same thing. Okay, so this is not old minus, this is not new minus old and old. This is a different formula called the midpoint method. So price 2 minus price 1 at the top and at the bottom price 2 plus price 1 divided by 2. You do that for the x. So step 1 is you do it for the x. Step 2 is you do it for the y. And step 3 is you take the x answer and you've divided by the y answer and that will give you the price elasticity of demand. And then remember, it's absolute values, which means pluses and minuses can be deleted. It does not count. Okay. Then once you have your answer, you go back to your crypt notes and you see if it is bigger than one, it's elastic. And if it's smaller than one, it's inelastic. And that will help you with those questions.